This is Sarah Threadster Nurse RN.com, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to assess the six cardinal fields of gaze. Now, why do we assess the six cardinal fields of gaze? Well, it tells us how well those extraocular muscles of the eyes are working, and there's six of them, along with allowing us to assess cranial nerves three, four, and six. So, what eye muscles are we assessing? We're assessing the superior rectus muscle, which helps us with upward movement of the eye the superior oblique, which helps with downward and outward movement of the eye, lateral rectus, which helps with outward movement, medial rectus, which helps with inward movement, inferior oblique, which helps with upward and outward movement, and lastly, the inferior rectus, which helps with downward movement. And when we're performing this skill, we're gonna have the patient move their eyes in the following directions. In the right upper part, the left lower, the left upper, the right lower, and then left to right. And while the patient is doing this, we are looking for a smooth motion of the eye, which would be a normal finding. We would not want the eyes to jerk or to shake as they move, and if they did, that would be known as nystagmus. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our pen light, we're gonna hold it about 12 to 14 inches away from the patient's nose. And Ben, what I want you to do is keep your head still, don't move your head, and just use your eyes to watch where I move the pen light. And as you're doing this, you're gonna do you're gonna perform it in the six cardinal fields of gaze, and you're just gonna move it, and you're looking for any involuntary shaking of the eyes. So here we go. Okay, so that is how you assess the six cardinal fields of gaze. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.